Previously on XCOM 2. Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of XCOM 2. In the last episode we ran through the Advent Forge like wild beasts, tearing apart Advent left, right and centre, took out 45 aliens, picked up the prototype stasis suit and basically kicked Advent to the curb. Now we've got a supply raid so it's actually pretty good, I mean, we're doing, uh, doing alright at the moment, a couple of minor injuries but uh, I think everything is going to turn out well. Let's get in there and let's see what we can recover from this convoy. Menace 1 5. The disabled advent convoy is just ahead. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. Two supply raids in pretty much as many missions? I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Okay, um, so XCOM, XCOM 2 has just patched, uh, which is wonderful because it's always good that they're developing new things and improving it and adding controller support for those that like that kind of thing. Um, but unfortunately it's also cleared all my configs out, so I just had to reset them up. And Tactical Last Name has been removed from the marketplace. Which is really annoying because now I'm going to have to actually look at people's names down here in order to see who I've got selected rather than just referring to their call signs. Because we never use their call signs other than for me and Matrix. <sighs> A little bit annoying that, but it is what it is. Uh, we've got stealth at the moment, so let's uh, just scurry on in. Uh, there is also one other thing which I tested just a moment ago and I've had to restart because of a bug. Um, airdrop, uh, which is going to be on the globe over here, doesn't actually seem to be targeting the correct people. So that is actually targeting the SAR even though it looks like it's not. That is not targeting Saranson. And I don't know whether it's a bug with uh, with Long War or just like the uh, the targeting options uh, that have gone on, but that will actually give it to Nassar. So we're going to do that now. Uh, the reason I had to restart was because I had uh, I know that there is a single muton just up this way. I'll, I'll show you roughly where it is. There's a muton about here. Uh, so we stepped up and we got in position uh, to kill him. And Matrix was in cover up here, and I went to drop. A grenade on the SAR back here and the damn little um, gremlin flew all the way over here, dropped it on Matrix, revealed him, revealed another pod. They all came swarming in and before the, it, we got into difficult combat I was just like no, no. Knowing that it's got an issue I can just totally deal with it and uh, make sure that it's got the crosshairs on the person that I want it to go on. Uh, so we're going to do, once again, as going on Nassar. And hopefully that will get patched sooner rather than later. But uh, I was only like one turn into the game, so I didn't feel like I was taking the mick too much. Right, so to recreate the moves that I had before, Matrix, you're going to run as far forward as you can on this bit. We're going to spot that Muton. Oh no, there he is. And then you're going to take cover on this corner, which is nice way. and hidden. And he's going to walk away at the start of his next turn. I'm, I'm just going to recreate the moves that I had before. And then I brought Matrix up here, and then the grenade drop went, and then it all went peak tong. So, Julian, you're going to run up this way. And I'm going to recreate what I said at the same time. If we're lucky, he's not going to walk towards us because I don't think you actually get any benefit from cover there. Stay where you are, though. 
Uh, next up, we're going to do Nugent. Nugent, you can move really far, so let's get you tucked into Good this job. corner. On then we're going to do Beloy. Beloy, you're a bit of a slowpoke. Get yourself Come in there. next to Julian. Then we're going to go for me. Now, I could shoot him from here, um, but I'm not going to do that. I want to scout down this side. So let's bring me across, and then I'm going to steady my weapon, because I can't do much else. The only thing that's, uh, that's different is I'm not actually moving the Gloob up. The Gloob would have come along here, just behind Julian, so the Gloob's going to play catch-up next turn. Uh, Nassar, we are going to move you across to the back here, and then I'm going to decide that it's actually going to be better to move you all the way forwards. So we're going to get you Got right in there now. So, setting up for Overwatch, so that's not going to get triggered. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Got it covered. And the Muton's going to walk away from us. No, oh, or he's going to come a slightly different route. Okay, we are now in brand spanking new territory. I'm still going to try and play out what I did before, which started with... Uh, no, I can't even see him now. <laughs> of course not. Okay, new plan, everyone. I'm going to grapple myself up here, and then I'm going to take the shot that I would have taken anyway. Grapple out! We're going to do a Deadeye shot, which should do not quite enough damage, but I got lucky last time and I got a critical on him. 70% is a reasonable chance he's just going to die outright. Just like that. What did you expect? We're busted. So, I've been busted, but we don't need to worry about moving Matrix forwards now and getting department. eyes on that second pod. Hostile force is spotted. Okay, knowing that they're there, I can now move Julian forwards as far as Julian can get. It feels good to move around. And we're going to set up a nice overwatch line for these guys. We don't want to go much further than that, so we're going to have people behind here and behind Julian and behind that little bit of cover there. So starting with Julian oh, overwatch. Yeah, not sure where we're going to put you yet, Nagloob, but we're going to move Beloy up over here. Whatever you say. Scanning. Let's get Sorensen in here. Moving to Overwatch. We'll get Nassar into the heavy cover over, over here. Overwatch. It's a real shame that Wang's not with us this time. I can handle that. But Nugent's going to do a good job. And I've watched there. Okay, so I could reload my weapon. That's going to be a bit pointless at the moment. So let's just steady weapon instead. Matrix, you're going to go and see Overwatch. And we are going to run... Not all the way forwards. We're going to run up to here with Nagloob, I think. I'm all over it! A little bit slower start for you, but you did have to get your grenades out there. Now, I don't know whether this patrol is actually a patrolling patrol or if it's a static patrol. Looks like it's a static patrol, so we could set them up so that if I do like a, a kill zone and then we do some kind of bombard on them and everyone else gets set up as massive overwatch fire, I think that could be a fun way of picking them off. Uh, the other option is I just start shooting them now with cereal. I've got 100%. Wait, is that actually sh going to shoot both of them? Let's not trust that to actually shoot everyone. Uh, as fun as it would be. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick with the Overwatch plan. So, Julian, Overwatch, we can actually bring the Gloob up a little bit to help with this as well. On 
Uh, Overwatch. It sounds like there's a sector pod out there somewhere on the map, which is just another thing that we don't need. I'm on it. Overwatch here. Overwatch. Overwatch. I should probably have kept some some back for Scanning. something a bit cleverer. Overwatch as well. Out. So it's just me and Matrix. Let's let's do serial and let's. Uh, we could totally kill the first one with a critical. Yeah, right. Serial. Ready for more. Precision shot. Let's make sure it's a good hit. That will wake them up. Oh, it didn't kill him? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, they've come a bit closer, but I don't think they've actually come close enough for us to... Oh, they've, they've come right to the very edge. That's a bit cheeky. That's very cheeky. I did not like that at all. Um, hmm, what can we do? I'm not liking the way that this uh, this targeting is going. There is definitely something wrong with this targeting. So, this may be a little bit of a janky episode. Okay. Right, I think we're going to have to take the numbers down here. It looks like it's just one out. Which may be all it takes, but uh, we're going to have to take the numbers down here and see how it goes. Matrix, you're going to reveal yourself with your axe, but we kind of need you to get this. Yeah, you're going after that dude. Which is what I thought we were going to do. Didn't kill the other dude. I'm busted. But really... Where the crosshairs are, that's what it's going for. We're going to have to rage strike him and then I think flesh him and then we'll just have to run you back or something. Nope, not where the crosshairs are. Yes, where the crosshairs are, but you're in a different position. Okay, um, I'm willing to play through a couple of bugs now and then, but uh, I'm actually going to call this completely game-breaking. Um, really sorry, but I'm going to have to put XCOM 2 on hiatus until they get this resolved. Um, we've not gone too far into the mission, so I don't feel like I'm... Well, I've, I've obviously got knowledge of what's going to be coming up on it, um, but in this case being able to end up somewhere completely different and do damage to an enemy over there we, we just can't play through that that is that is not suitable at all thank you very much for watching i will keep retrying and uh, like reloading this every couple of days i'm sure that there'll be patches that come out in the uh, short to medium term and as soon as it's possible for me to record another episode i will put it up so stick with me everyone in the meantime, I will find something else to fill the time, probably Diablo 3. Uh, very, very sorry about this, but this is for the best. We need to preserve the campaign. See you soon.